Finally got more wins here at I-75 than anybody. Lights are down, 50 laps. They're in the Earnhardt Technology starting box. Green flags out. Gross is the green flag, and we're underway. It'll be Dale McDowell in the 17M. He'll grab the lead through turns one and two. He'll get a challenge on the outside. Here comes Donald McIntosh in the 79 car. They're wheel to wheel down the front straightaway. McIntosh, McDowell still side by side for the race lead. Lowney and Seawright side by side for third and fourth down the back straightaway as McIntosh will take the race lead into turn number three and four. McDowell fighting back. It'll be McDowell on lap number two. They're going back and forth for that top spot in $20,000 early in this one. 48 to go coming back to Green Ruby. Field rolls into the Earnhardt Technologies restart zone. Of course, it's performance green flag is out, and we're back racing as we come out of the mining construction caution period. And Dale McDowell leads them down the back straightaway. How about Cade Lowdy? He restarted and pulled up to position number two, now trying to track down Dale McDowell for the race lead. Brandon Overton has found his way around McIntosh for third. Nick Sexy on the move early on. Seven, he'll work his way around Donald McIntosh, moving Marler up to fourth, looking for more. McIntosh back to fifth, and now Corey Hedgecock up to sixth. He'll try to look for a top five. So Corey Hedgecock on the move. He's up working the top shelf for that number 23 car. Trying to dust off that top groove. He may have found something as he races off the two. He'll make that move to the inside. Nope, he'll go to the outside trying to get by the 79 of McIntosh. So here comes Corey Hedgecock. Battling for fifth in turn number one. He'll throw the slider on McIntosh. He'll clear him out of turn number two down the back straightaway. And as you say that, the caution will come out. It's the Earnhardt Technologies restart zone. They're in it. They're on it. Green flags out. Gorsuch performance green flag. Brings him down the front straightaway into turn number one. Look at this. Three wide up front for the lead in turn number two. Brandon over to the move around the outside of Cade Loudy up into second. Now looking to the bottom as he closes in on the race leader, Dale McDowell in the 17M. McDowell still trying to pull away just a little bit. Almost half a second was the lead at the line. Brandon Overton trying to run him down as he's found his way around Cade Loudy. Mike Marler in fifth. Donald McIntosh has worked his way back inside the top five. With that inside the top five as the green flag is back out. Of course, it's performance green flag is out as they race out of the Earnhardt Technologies restart zone. Mac Daddy with a lot of company behind him. Down the back straightaway into turn three. Caden Loudy and Brandon Overton. Overton actually taking the lead away yeah, from McDowell. Takes the lead from McDowell. Now Hedgecock up to third. He has found his way around Loudy. Loudy oh, across and back down the hill. Side by side for third. Loudy will hang on to it for a moment. Now Mike Marler pulls alongside Hedgecock once again. But Brandon Overton, he's found his way around Dal McDowell and trying to check out here at I-75. 30 years running these dirt leg models on the national scene. Jensen and Ford. Jensen Ford heads to the infield. Off the speedway, and now McDowell, he's closed the distance once again with Brandon Overton. A couple of car lengths now. Overton almost went over the berm, going down the back straightaway. Through the Earnhardt Technologies restart zone. Overton hits the button, down to the door, sits performance green flag, and we're racing. Peyton Loudy will clear Dale McDowell on the inside in turn number one, but the Mac Daddy trying to get it wound up down the back straightaway. He will try to edge ahead of Loudy, but Loudy right back on the bottom as they'll race side by side down to the start finish line. McDowell being scored his second on that lap. Here comes Loudy back on the outside. He'll clear McDowell. Side by side for second, side by side for fourth with Mike Marler, Corey Hedgecock still. And Ashton Winger on the outside of the top five looking in, waiting in the weeks. Here comes Corey Hedgecock with that move off the two. Getting the run on Marler. Full send into turn three. Can't clear him. Marler hanging tough on the outside. Side by side, still at the line. Hangs on to fourth. As Brandon Overton has shown the way, he's pulled out through over a second lead over Dale McDowell. Lowney back to third. And 46 down, four remaining. Brandon Overton in the Earnhardt Technology start zone. Coming back to green. Here we go. Gorsuch performance green flag is out. Four to go. Brandon Overton will take the high road in turn number one. McDowell looking to the inside. 
It'll be Big Sexy pulling him three car lengths down the back straightaway into turn three. Coming down to three laps to go. Overton into turn number one. He's got Dale McDowell. Five car lengths behind him off the two. They'll race down the back straightaway. It's Big Sexy bringing it off a of turn four. Brandon Overton. He caps the championship with the icing on the cake, winning $20,000 in the season finale. Dale McDowell will finish second. Mike Marler comes home in third. Corey Hedgecock fourth. And Cade Loudy with another great run tonight with a top five finish. Getting set to climb out of the car, your Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series season finale winner at I-75. Make some noise for big sexy Brandon Overton. 2024 Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series champion, and you cap it off with a win in the finale. How great does it feel? <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, hell, I just wanted to keep riding around. It's been a while since, uh, you know, I know we've been struggling a little bit, and people kind of, I guess, like lose confidence in you or whatever. And uh, I just like to remind them every now and then, you know, I can still drive these damn things. Uh, just, like I said, I, I don't know. Y'all know I'm emotional. I, uh, I feel like we haven't won in forever. Uh, my crew guys, they bust their butt week in and week out, and, uh, man, they deserve to win all the time, you know. So, uh, I said, it was fun to drive tonight. I, I got to race my buddy Dale. Uh, you know, me and Shane and all of them are good friends, and uh, I seen him on that restart. He was telling Dale, just move up a little bit, getting into one, and I said, shit, I got I to gotta get him now because he'll get right in my way and, and, and hold me up a little bit. So, yeah, just I hope I cleared him good enough over there. And, uh, yeah, my car was awesome, man. I ain't had one that felt like that in a long time. Uh, Shout out to Bobby K, one of my buddies. He uh, he built me some spindles for this thing this week, and uh, some of them old school thoughts still still work today. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, got a bunch of people I want to thank: uh, Wells Motorsports, Convenient Lube, Muscle Factory, uh, All Star Concrete, Easy Go, Big Dog Stump and Tree, um, Third Mafia, Cleanway Clearing, R. W. Powell, uh, Garnto Southern. I'm sure uh, Jason and Sherry and everybody back home's watching. Uh, Harco Construction. Um, Brad and Lisa Cowan for everything they do for me week in and week out. Chad Tootin, BP, uh, Boswell, Clements Automotive, Penske Shocks. Uh, I'm going to forget somebody, man. Uh, Impact, Jamie, he does all my T-shirts. He does a hell of a job. Uh, Chris Davis, Midwest Sheet Metal. Um, Penske Shocks, like I said, just everybody that's a part of this deal. Uh, I couldn't do it without him. My rap guy, Jason Williamson, he's wrapped this thing all year long. He's, I don't think I've thanked him once. You know, he, uh, he always keeps this thing looking good. I appreciate everything he does for me. And... Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for coming, man. I love coming to this place. You, you ought to be proud. You got a hell of a racetrack right here in your backyard. I-75, make some noise one more time for your winner, Big Sexy Brandon Overton. He's got one more thing to say. Yeah, I forgot. Brett Coltman, he's here tonight somewhere. Uh, I just want to thank him for everything he does for us. Uh, big supporter, and uh, come get your picture made wherever you're at. Big shout out to thank Brett you. Coltman, and one more time for your winner, Brandon Overton. We're going to grab a word with our second place finisher, Dale McDowell. Man, how different was the track tonight, and how did you think you needed to change the car versus what it ended up needing? Shane made some changes on the car. I'm just really, really loose in traffic, and I can't get going even on the starts, you know, like those guys behind me. You know, once I get rolling, I can carry momentum pretty good, but Brandon just had a better car in traffic, I think, and then I'm on the starts. You know, I can't get going with those guys. So uh, we just got a little work to do. Um, you know, we'll gain. Shane made some changes and Landon made some changes on it today and, and uh, gained on it. So uh, we'll just keep working at it. And uh, heck, it's fun racing. I mean, you know, we just didn't have the best car. So uh, up, be up there in the top three both nights, you know. Last night, uh, he gave us a gift last night because he was going to win last night too, you know. But uh, but it, uh, it was a good race for us. Mikey, you know, I, I mean, I like racing with these guys. So we'll just keep working at it and see if we can get that easy go hot rod. I didn't think I'm a sponsor. Uh, Black Rock, Mike Bennett on BSI Well Service, Easy Go, What L Trucking. Uh, quartz clots, comatic, uh, CSA, uh, quality paint, and, and uh, our quality heat and air. Um, shoot, I got uh, S and H uh, systems on the back, and my Cleveland guys, uh, Jody Campbell, Campbell Insulation, and Mark Trulo with S and H Motors. And uh, I think it's everybody. But I appreciate if I forgot anybody, man. I appreciate every, what everybody does. Uh, oh, also Northeastern Fabrication, my buddy Jeep. Uh, Fox Shocks and Sweet Bloomquist Race Cars. And so we got a couple more races this year. Hopefully we can get one done. Uh, you know, we'll just keep digging. All right, make some noise one more time for your second place finisher, the Mac Daddy, Dale McDowell. Now we're going to grab a word with our third place finisher. He snuck on the podium here at the very end. 
You got a third place finish back at Why Not, and you sneak onto the podium here tonight. How's it feel? It feels good. You know, I uh, didn't run very good last night, and uh, I had a really good car there in that race. I just couldn't uh, couldn't get the cautions to play for me. I kept losing spots under, you know, after I clear them. So uh, it's all good. It's part of it. And it uh, felt good to have a fun car. The track was really racy, and uh, it was a lot of fun out there. Got a lot of sponsors to thank on that 157 machine. Yeah, I do. I got, you know, Greg Bruning, Skyline, you know, for giving me this opportunity, and Bill Stein Shocks, the Mesilla Valley uh, Transportation, and Bennett Explosives, Osa's Explosives, Trunk Country, uh, our buddy Craig at can has always been a big supporter of us, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, Swift Springs, uh, we've got VG Performance helping us now, which is really helping out a lot, so, uh, uh, yeah, it was a fun weekend, and uh, I want to give a shout-out to Cade. I, he didn't get on the podium here, Loudy, but... Uh, you know, that kid is doing unbelievable. He, he, I run the wheels off of him there, barely got by him late in the race, and he literally was over there borrowing used tires from me today. So uh, if there's somebody out there that's looking for a good young, young, young and up-and-coming kid to get behind, I believe that kid's going to be all right.